Hi everybody. I do often crave a breakfast muffin, a sausage and egg muffin. Well I'm going to show you a way that you can make these at home and they're far more delicious than what you'll get from the drive through So I'll go to get everything ready and show you how I make them. So I have here one pound of ground beef and you could use ground lamb if you don't like eating beef. One ground, one pound, Ariella bird, of ground sausage meat. So placing that into my bowl. And that's a little bit stuck in. and one pound of ground pork. And for those of my friends that don't eat pork, you could always substitute another meat such as lamb or beef. And I'm not sure how many patties this will make, but it should make rather a lot. So I'm just going to crumble all the meat together and mix it through a little bit before I start adding my other ingredients. And I'm just going to crumble it up a bit together first before I go in with my hands to fully mix it. So a rough mix here first. I'm going to add a good teaspoon and a half of umami which of course is optional. Half a teaspoon of cooking salt and I like to use a nice fine salt because it's easy to mix through. A good shake of smoked paprika. teaspoon of ground sage leaves, a good teaspoon of dried oregano, and a couple of teaspoons of dried onion flakes. And you can also add some hot sauce in with this if you like, just to give an extra flavour. So now I'm just going to start mixing this all together. Crumbling it up a little bit more first. And I like to use a mince or ground beef 
that does have a little bit of fat in, I guess like about an 80-20 grind. And the ground pork would probably be about 80-20 as well. So now mixing this together. And getting in with my hands. And just scrunching everything together. Mixing it through until everything is well incorporated. A real good shake of ground white pepper. So I'll continue mixing this through and then I'll show you how I make the patties. So now with my meat all well mixed together, I'm just going to let it sit and rest for about 30 minutes before I form it into patties. And the big reason why I mix the meats is that I find sausage muffins or McMuffins are a little bit bland and plain and so I like to spark it up a little bit and this does make a truly delicious breakfast. So I'll be back in 30 minutes after the meat's rested a little while and make my patties. Okay everybody, well this is how I make my sandwich pickles. And it is quite easy to make them yourself. So I have here a European cucumber. And I've just got to try and get the plastic off of this. Supermarkets love to wrap these in plastic for some reason. But anyway. And Firstly, I'll just cut the top and the tail off my cucumber and instead of peeling the whole thing, I'm just going to, if I can, remove strips of peel. leaving some skin on and I'm doing this just for display purposes and thinly slicing my cucumber up And I've probably sliced them up in about a quarter an inch, eighth of an inch size slices. So I'm just going to place them into my bowl. And pour a good amount of salt over the top of these. Just mixing the salt through well to make sure that all surfaces are covered with salt. I'm now going to put these aside and just let the salt draw out a lot of the moisture from these cucumbers for about 30 minutes or so and then I'll wash them well in fresh water. So moving along to the making of my pickling liquor. I'm going to get one good cupful of caster sugar. And place that into my saucepan and hopefully everything will dissolve 
without me needing to warm it up but you can warm it up if it's not dissolving too well one teaspoon of umami I'm not going to add any salt to this because the cucumbers should be quite salty enough with the salt that's on them drawing out the moisture Good shape of white pepper or you could use peppercorns if you've got them and to this little lot I'm going to add two cups of brown vinegar You could also use apple cider vinegar or just your normal white vinegar. It pretty much depends what you prefer. So I'm going to mix all these ingredients well until the sugar has dissolved. And if it doesn't dissolve, I will heat it up slightly just to help it along. So everything has dissolved beautifully, so I'm just going to place this aside until I'm ready to put my cucumbers into the jar and pour the pickling mixture over the top of them. So I'll be back in 30 minutes just to finish this one off. Okay, so I've let these cucumbers now sit in the salt. 30 minutes or so and you can see a good amount of liquid has come out of them so I'm just going to rinse them off and just putting some water in my bowl and rinsing them and I'll rinse these about three times and you can see that they have become wilted and floppy, which is all the liquid that's come out of them. So I'll rinse these off and then I'll show you what I do next. So now having given them a good rinse off, I'm just going to grab one to coat. And these cucumbers are definitely salty enough and I don't need any more salt so I've got two jars out but I probably will only require the one and I'm just going to put them all into my jar giving it a shake around just to push them down And I can see that one jar was definitely enough and I have here a clove of garlic that I'm just going to roughly peel And just give it a bit of a quick crush and chop him in half placing that on top about a teaspoonful of white peppercorns 
or you could use black peppercorns. A teaspoon of whole grain mustard over the top. And I'm going to add one of these hot dried red Asian chilies on top. And now pouring my pickling mixture over the top of this. Placing the lid over the top, and I did pre sterilize my jar. And I'm just going to give it a good shake around. I'm pouring the extra liquid over the top, and I'll seal this jar and put it in my refrigerator and I'm going to use it in a day's time but it's best if you could leave it a week before you use it but leave it at least a day so now after letting the meat rest a little while I'm just going to grab a nice amount and I'm just using this little container as a mould and I'll probably put like about a quarter of a pound of patty into this container and pressing it out well making it about hamburger size and shape and so one patty pressed out I'll make another couple of patties and the rest of this mixture I'll make into more patties later on and you should get about 12 patties from this mixture So I have three patties here ready in my cast iron pan, ready to bake up. And the remaining mixture, you could also just freeze it up and keep it for a meat loaf. This mixture also works wonderfully for that. So now before I get ready to cook, I'm just going to turn my oven on to preheat to 150 degrees Fahrenheit or about 80 degrees Celsius. And I'll take out three English muffins. And I'm just going to half those. And place these into my oven to warm up while I cook my patties. So putting my 
burn up on medium heat. I'm just going to place my cast iron pan with my patties over the heat and let the temperature rise slowly and for them to start to cook. So I'll let them start to cook and when they're ready to turn I'll show you my next step. These patties are just starting to fill up the temperature now and the sizzle alone. So I'm just going to leave them and you'll know that they're ready to turn once they free themselves from the bottom of the pan and they're not sticking anymore. So I'll leave these cook away for about five or so minutes and then I'll be back to turn them. So these are starting to bury up from the bottom of my pan. So turning them over. And they have a lovely colour on the bottom. So they're looking sensational. So I'm going to let them fry away for a further five minutes and then I'll transfer them to my oven to keep warm while I cook my eggs. So these are five minutes of the other side. and transfer these patties to my oven to stay warm. So my muffins have warmed up. So I'm just going to put them face down. Three of them. And transfer these patties into my pan. to stay warm in my oven while I cook my eggs. So placing my cast iron pan back onto the heat. And increasing the heat a little bit. I'm just going to place my eggs into my cast iron pan and I'll put the patties in. Down a little bit. 
And if you've got egg rings, you can also cook your eggs in egg rings just to keep them a more uniform shape. So I'm going to turn off the temperature. We'll turn off the flame. Ariel of Blue Lagi. And I'll get ready to assemble my goodies. And of course, with the residual heat in the cast iron pan, these will keep cooking for another minute or so. So now I'm laying out my muffins. Got a choice of barbecue sauce. Ketchup. Or you could also use some hot sauce like sriracha if you wish. Or you can keep it plain. And the cheese has beautifully melted over each patty. Just placing a patty on top of each muffin. These eggs are runny, which is how I like them. But you could always cook your eggs further if you wish. And I'm just going to place a slice or two. Pickles that I made yesterday on the top of each egg. And of course, pickles are optional. And placing a buffet over each one. It's time for a taste test. Oh, so that's looking lovely and there's egg yolk going everywhere. Runny egg, Ariella Blue. So I'm just going to cut this in half just to make it a little bit easier to manage. And have a taste test. So we have here a beautiful breakfast and I'll ask you all to please watch my videos through to the end. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and smash that little bell. Also please like my videos, share my videos and comment on my videos. Oops. Ariella Blair making a mess, but this looks lovely.
Oh, that's so delicious. So, I'm going to thank you all for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.